It's great privilege to be in such a ser service when we can see such a many testimonies and enjoy and apply it in our life. This morning I want to talk about on, on a subject prosperity for the sake of kingdom. And uh, for the beginning, uh, I ask Solomia to read for me one, one verse, Luke 18, Luke, Luke 6, 28. Oh, Solomita, sorry. Give and it will be given to you. Good measures, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be put into your bosom. For with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. I want to start from uh, the thought that salvation is not out of the world, but in the world. Salvation which God prepared for us and how he saved us, how he saved us. He saved us not out of the world, but in the world. It's so important for us to understand. Concern, concerning prosperity, many Christians has have different view. Is it called maybe? Is, is it good? Temperature. Okay. Many people in in church has have different have different point of view on the prosperity today i want to talk about prosperity prosperity for the sake of kingdom it's so important to, for us to understand with my weak english really slowly i want to talk to you about so important subject because prosperity finances is the wheels on what on which and what two kingdoms running, kingdom of darkness or kingdom of God. And Jesus gave for us command to pray in the Lord's prayer, pray let your kingdom come and let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And the revival, salvation cannot function without finances. And it's, it's for, for us as a Christian, we have to, we must clearly understand subject of prosperity and have clear God, God's point of view on, on the finances. Because to ignore subject of, of finances and ignore be wrong in the in the area of finances we can sin and be guilty before god i will explain a little bit later we we consist of spirit soul and body and god gave for us salvation to restore us back in the previous position when he previously put first couple Adam and Eve. For us to important understand who is our God and what he planned for us and to more clearly understand when we turn ourselves back and see in the beginning, in the paradise, kind, um, Garden Eden, Eden is, is there was poverty or prosperity, abundance of lack and shortage. From, from the very beginning, who is our God? From the very beginning, God placed people in abundance in, in surround surround with 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 everything what was needed it was prosperity
And, and salvation, yes, it's true that we consist of spirit, soul, and body, and the main part of, of, of our personality is spirit from God. But, but, but God son, sent his beloved son, son, Jesus Christ, to save us, not out, out of the world, but in the world. We be being saved in spirit, we are still on earth. And we have to understand God's logic and his motive and his desire and his point of view. Salvation of the soul so important. God saved us because sin came, great tragedy, catastrophe, which happened in the universe and broke heaven, Lucifer, angels, and a uh, Lucifer, main angel, and he, and his his uh, community of angels were cast out from from heaven. That's the first sin occurred in heaven, and for Lucifer and his angel, there is no redemption, there is no salvation. In God's kingdom, God has. In, 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 in universe, in God's kingdom, in heaven, there is a law. Sin punished by death. In God's understanding, death is not an existence, but it's separation. On the opposite side, God is light. Opposite side is darkness. God is life, happiness, joy, peace. But it's opposite side, side for eternity. And great grace of God, of God, God stretched toward, toward hum, humanity to save us. But salvation required when sin comes, death is unescapable, unescapable. And Instead, instead, place death on, on human, on man, God place his judgment, death on his son to save our, our spirit, our soul. But we still on earth, there is plenty of, of people, millions, and even more people around. They, they come, come in, the, in, in this world. Where, where Satan, where devil, his, his angels, and they are born in the kingdom of darkness. And God wants to save them. As a kingdom of darkness, devil, Satan, use money to, to promote, to advance Devil use money, finances, to capture as many as possible people, take money from devil, from demons, his, his kingdom will be destroyed. Take finances from drug dealers, from, from, from drug addicts, for, from per, pervert, per, pervertive people, they industry will collapse. We have to clearly understand that finance, finances, money, it's not just paper, it's not, it's not just numbers on a paper or on a screen of, of computer, but finances is the wheels on what, on what devil run his business. In the same way, God cannot run his business, his kingdom, without money, without finances. 
It's so important for us as a Christian to understand, to understand this subject. That without finances, without money, kingdom of God cannot move forward. To have finances, money in the kingdom of God, they cannot be there if they will be first will will be not in our pocket if God's people will not prosper if we will not have money for ourselves we cannot bring money in the kingdom of God that's so important for us to understand my subject today prosperity for the sake for the sake of of the kingdom not for the sake of my home if somebody doesn't want money, doesn't want to be rich, it's okay. But you don't have right to reject money because you, you, you commanded by God to pursue money, to have money for the sake of salvation, for the sake of the kingdom of God. As devil tried to grab as much as possible money because he wants to promote, move forward as far as possible and capture, capture lives and souls of the people to keep them isolate, isolated with, from God, bring them in the pit of hell, on the wheels of the money, same way Holy Spirit, God himself, knows that that without finances, it's impossible to move kingdom of God and save people. A lot of things needed to preach the gospel of God. <clears throat> uh, in Christianity, we have in, in New in New Testament, such a, such a doctrine is a rapture. For in many churches, this doctrine of rapture of the church and coming, coming up um, at Antichrist, these two doctrines confused many churches. Doctrine of rapture in doctrine coming of Antichrist in this world. And many Christians living by the life of escaping, ignoring, trying to leave everything behind, and just ori orientated on their spirit and their, their soul. I, I don't want nothing in this world. I just want to save my soul and nothing more. It's true that's biggest value of us is my personal soul but we have to remember our neighbor has soul too and our class class uh, uh, co colleagues and in our uh, in our our college they have souls too you don't have to care just for your personal soul you have to remember that we are living in the city, in our streets. There is people, they have souls. And they, these souls cannot be saved. Uh, brought in the kingdom of God without preaching, without churches, without finances, without that, that Levites, uh, pastors and leaders of the church to preach it. That the kingdom, kingdom of God moves Holy Spirit as an engine he push it but if there is no wheels of finances you cannot push so far and we have to accept this truth prosperity for the sake of kingdom God doesn't want to have your your 100% of your or your finances God gave uh, God wants your 10% somebody can give more but 
we have to we have to come deeply to this understanding in the real many people christian are confused how much i can have for how much i can claim how big percentage of money can can belong to the kingdom of god how big church can be how big finances church can have and usually we we um we split or we distribute this percentage and we say for for politician such a such a percent for prostitute for alcoholic for for drugs for for hollywood and we have big line of потребителей consumers and consumers we have big number of consumers and each of them they required money finances and for us as a church in our mind we just leave small percentage but rest of it because we see with our eyes that's the that's the reality of life where we live and this reality we accept as a true we accept as a god's will we accept because somebody told us about it and we accept it that such a percentage for drugs dealers it's normal by by it's not it's not normal such a percent, percentage uh for, for perverted people of money but it's not it's destroy destroys people lives rapture it's not is escaping um, from devil if some churches theologies confirmed and believe in that verse which it's written about rapture of the church uh, for the few years when antichrist will come on this earth concerning the scripture we know that antichrist will come for seven years on earth many churches so scared of this pers- person and this system and they always always think about it and pu- full of fear of such a time but seven years is are split on on half first three and a half years he will by lying will be will be snake on the politician arena and three years and a half will be will be a really hard time that's the bible teach about it but 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 when he come when antichrist will come on his god's by god allowed uh, arena god allows him to come on this arena and take over to be punished by god to be judged by god jesus will come and with his breath he will kill antichrist and a false prophet that that's the bible teaches about it and rapture is escaping not for the from the fear of satan antichrist but from the judgment of god which when judge with god will judge the earth during this seven and split it in half three years and half when antichrist will come three and a half years that's a really short period of time we don't have to scared to be scared this time we are champions we are overcomers god on our side and to god it's god's gold and silver finance finances all money all finances belong to god 
God is owner. Devil just stole it. He stole it for drugs, for alcohol, for any kind of sin. Finances totally belong to God. As a church, we have to have clear understanding. If we, if, if we pray today for thousands locally and millions globally, it's not a big number. There is much more people. God sent his son on a cross to die for all earth, for all people. If billions there, God paid the price for all of them. And we as a children of God, we have to think as God thinks. We have to claim what for, for what God claims. We don't have to think, hey, you are, you are such a person, you are born, born for cancer. You for sugar diabetes. You for divorce. You for, for confusion. You are bor born for, for, uh, for epilepsy. No, we have to think that God wants, God don't want such, such a name. God, God don't want such a condition. It's devil who stand behind it. Uh, when God calls uh, Abraham from his land and from relatives when he, he, he lived, he said, I ask you, go with me and I will bless you and you will be blessing for, for, for nations. For nations. Every time when God calls somebody, he always promised, promised blessing. And Abraham was a really rich man. Isaac was a really rich man. Why? Because they walked with God. They knew character of God, nature of God. Jacob was a really rich man. Brothers and sisters, our church is really young. And most of you young people. From this stage, we talk about prosperity and finances. Because your finances are needed for the kingdom of God. There is many sick people. There is many who, is, who are bound. In addictions, there is many who, who are lost. There is many who are captured by, by demons, by devil. It's so important that the kingdom of God will have such, such a wills to run and go forward and save people. Rapture, Bible teaches, will be on a short period of time when judgment of God will be on earth, on the, uh, on, the, on the kingdom of Antichrist. And later, Jesus Christ has to come on this earth for thousands for of thousands years, establish his kingdom with the church that's me that means that's escaping running from devil from from demons it's not christian idea devil has to run and flee when we pray we have to accept this biblical understanding to be to be rich, to be millionaire, we know many people are rich today in the world. And we can clearly see those rich people, they do, do not have two hats, four hands, or more legs. The same person who is multi-millionaire 
and bombs under bridge, same person with a outwardly, they are, they, I, they are same. What make different between poor per person and a rich person is his knowledge, his mind. This mind is not yet millions here, but they but when we have right mind, millions comes. We read today when Jesus said, Give and that shall be given to you. With um, how you said with uh, a good measure, pressure pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Give, because with what measure you measure, with same measure will be measured to you. In many cases, people do not believe that how they measure, how they measure many people believe that to be rich just it's happened by self. It's not depend on us. But Jesus teaches that how much we will measure, he will measure to us. With good measure, pressed down, shaking together, and running over. Give, it will, give, it will be given to you. Over here, I want to say not only about our offerings, but how we give our mind for education. To measure for ourselves, how we measure ourselves, we have to give something. As a millionaire, doesn't have different bit, uh, toward, toward the poor person, same body, but because he gave his mind to renew his mind. What difference between poor pe person and, and rich person? Different just in mind. Rich person gives his mind to renew, to develop, to reach farther. And they have a lot of money. Devil can renew mind of, of person and lead to destroy. Three weeks ago, when we had over here prayer line, and this one, 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 man, uh, one young man over here was possessed with the demon of legion. Five years ago, because of divorce of his father, when his father left him, he went on a cemetery, and because he was so depressed, I, I don't know, maybe that's young man over here, but we, 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 we heard his testimony, and he was manifesting over here, and demons cried through him that they, 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 they are, they did for him all things this of, of this destruction. It's happened. Maybe, may, maybe I have to. Um, okay, I will take this example. I want, I want to talk to you, brothers and sisters. This, that's my passion. That's my desire. I teach with my weak. Usually, I, I train my son, Ilya, Martin, and Vladimir. That's the three main leaders we have in our church. And I teach them that many million, millionaires has to rise in um, 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 among you. And listen to me carefully. It's possible. You will do it. Because for the kingdom of God, you don't have to be, don't scare money. Or pursue money. Because money need for this for the sake of salvation, for the sake of 
of the kingdom of God. If you will be poor and I will be poor, we, do, we cannot do nothing. That's miserable life when we don't have money. And many of us, we experience such a things. God who calls Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and many others, he, this God is a rich God. Full of love, who full of he is, he has abundance, and he sent his spirit on earth to lead us, to show for us his abundance, his progress. As a spirit of Satan, demons, when he entered this young man, shortly. He start create in his life such a miracles, and when devil comes in the in the life of person, supernatural miracles be, uh, become uh, become happen. Divorces, sicknesses, unimaginable, tragic things began to happen. When Holy Spirit. When Holy Spirit comes in our life, this the Spirit of God. Spirit who calls Abraham. Spirit who calls Isaac and Jacob. Solomon with his wisdom. This Spirit supernaturally arrange things. Arrange things. Put in, in, in front of us such a connections. Open doors. Wisdom, knowledge, colleges, businesses, such are things. That's Holy Spirit when we have communion with him. He creates positive miracles. Demons, unclean spirits, when they come in the life of people, they, on the beginning, they can give you something. But in the end, specifically, when, the, when they discover that you are going to leave them, they will, will be really hurry to destroy you. But Holy Spirit, God, He is good God. He has supernatural ability to help us and to build our life, family, marriage, and spirit. Specifically, specifically, God is God of blessing financially. That's why Jesus said, give and that will be given to you. Because with what measure you measure, with, with same measure will be measured to you. If you measure for yourself college, it will be measured to you. If you measure yourself for your for your business it will be measured to you have you measure your life your finances god says i will i will return to you with that press down shaking together and running over this the good holy spirit which which wants to live with us I was, when I heard testimony of this young man, I was, I was amazed. Ignorantly, this young man, during the night, night, came in a cemetery and just prayed simple prayer. Devil, I want to offer to you my life. Give me joy and power because I am depressed. And devil did not miss such a prayer. He sneak, And later, many years are ruined. Devil did not suffer, did not pay price for that body, for this young, young man. Devil, devil, devil wasn't crucified on a cross for this body. But Holy Spirit led Jesus on a cross. And, per, and participate in, in whole earthly life ministry of Jesus on earth. Why? Because Holy Spirit passionately wanted 
to live in human body. But he couldn't because over there was full of sin. That's why Holy Spirit led Jesus through wilderness, earthly life. That Jesus went through the cross and poured pour his blood to wash us. Why? Because Holy Spirit wanted to live in our body. And that's Holy Spirit is God and he is good. Do you understand? That's so important for you to look for fellowship with the Holy Spirit. That's so important for you. When George today talked and, and, and we heard testimonies. That's so important this morning prayers. Because Holy Spirit, he, he has all abundance. And he wants the just parts of your finances for to promote, to move his kingdom, but rest belong to you. For your good car, for your rich house, but the rest, rest of you belong for your family. Holy Spirit has abundance. And we, we have to love Holy Spirit. And with, with Holy Spirit... There is miracles financial. There is abundance. Holy Spirit, he lead us on a, such a podcast, sermons, places from the Bible, when the Holy Spirit show for us. And we, and we have to deeply understand with what measure I will measure if I will give, yes, including our, our offerings. But when we give our mind to develop, I stay over here and I not my mind. I just, I can comment to my mind. I, I say to, to my, my, my mind, my mind Command to my hand to stretch my hand. I said, my mind, command to my, my hand to be stretched. When I said, and I stretched. What I did, I said to my mind. Your mind can be developed. God can, can lead you in such an area. When you exposed for yourself, Holy Spirit will help you. He will, he will lead you in such an area when you will be exposed to the great business, education, great money. Measure with big measure for yourself. And God says, for the kind, for, for the sake of the kingdom, you have to prosper. In Ecclesiastes, there is such a saying. In one time, poor man saved with his wisdom whole city. But after all, he will not no remembered because he was poor. If you will have finances, you will have in influence. If church will have finances, we represent kingdom of God. We represent God on earth. If you are weak, if you are poor, if you in divorce, if you are miserable, that's the representing of the kingdom of God. We have to clearly understand that spirit of God. And Jesus clearly said, nobody can enter the the strong, strong, uh, strong man's house and and take his possession until strongest one will come and bind the strong man only then he, he, he can take possession which that strong man plunder when Israelites were in Egypt Pharaoh took all their money whole possession it's impossible was to be rich for the Israelites 
but Spirit of God met Moses in in the wilderness. He, he revealed his, he, himself in, in the wilderness and he spoke to him and said, Moses, I am God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You will go to Egypt and you will take whole money, everything. Who is spoken there in the wilderness? This is the, the nature of your God and my God. But there is Pharaoh today who won't keep our generation in bondage in destruction that's why Holy Spirit raising today young generation who will clearly understand prosperity if you don't like it like for the kingdom sake be bold measure with great measure and spirit be connected to the spirit of God and Spirit of God says, I will be with you. Your measure, I will feel it. Press down, shake it together, and running over. This is the nature of the Holy Spirit who lives with, uh, in our heart. As demonic spirit create miracles to destroy, in the same way, Holy Spirit, when you walk with the Holy Spirit, not long time will go he will create miracle he will open for you opportunities doors connection for the king for the sake of the kingdom